Frank Barana. Yeah, 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 here we are. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's early, but we're here. We're going to continue lighting this omnisphere shuffle, as I like to call it, where we've taken random sounds, random sounds from omnisphere, putting that shuffle on. Good morning, kids. Putting that shuffle on and using whatever sounds come up. So we've got some weird ones in here. We've got centipede. we got monster. we got wet clouds. Hey, Robbie. Whew. we got a lot of stuff. we got a lot of stuff to play with. But we left off last night with some of that bass action playing the melody. So let's play the whole thing just to let you know where we're at. Can't hear me. What do you mean you can't hear me? Seriously? Can nobody else hear me? What are you, you gotta be joking me. Somebody write if they can't hear me. Better. Okay, I didn't do anything. I don't know I don't know what just happened, but I didn't do anything. And I can turn this up a little bit. Everything's uh, the same as it always is. Okay. Oh, wow, wow. I don't mean to, like, go nuts here with the windows. Okay, everybody's cool. Everybody's cool. So, let's uh, play where we're at from the top. I forgot to turn this off. Something sounded funny there. Okay, here we go. Okay, so yesterday I was talking about how I'm going to try to compose and not produce here, meaning I really just want to go for measure numbers. I want to just get sections written, and I'm, I'm going to try not to spend too much time on little things like uh, sound design, transitions, all that kind of stuff. We can fill that in later. So let's write some music. Who's ready? Okay, I'll assume some people are ready. Um, so we have to put the chords behind our second phrase here in our in our B section. Okay, so the upright was doing this. And that was uh, this one. So So we're going to do a similar pattern there. OK, I like that. Cool, cool. All right. I can't talk too loud because people are still sleeping in this house. And the vibes was doing this. So for the next part. Thank you. 
Hmm. I kind of like that D flat, even though it's the four with what on a major chord. That's still not a bad sound. This kind of a thing. Usually you wouldn't you wouldn't play this kind of chord because you have the the third in the bass there and the fourth on top, but it sounds good. I think it sounds good. I'm not sure if it's gonna stick. Let's put it in there. If we don't like it, we can always make the D flat a C. No, nope, no problem. Nobody has to worry about it. It's gonna be fine. Here we go. Oh, that's not gonna work. Cool. Uh, just make sure these are all even. Don't need. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm just going to double this kick so I can hear what it sounds like with the uh, pulse behind it. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so I think we need to double the melody a little bit. We have to add our fretless bass. Oh, I can control the, you hear the vibrato there with the mod wheel? Maybe I'll use a little of that. All right. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, orchestron. This is a weird sounding one. Huh, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep it, um, actually, I don't know. Nah, we don't need it. We have enough of that sort of like subdivision thing happening with the uh, parts we just recorded. Here we go. You know, as I was playing that, I was kind of thinking it might be nice to have some harmony part there. So if we have, how can we harmonize that? Up a sixth maybe? Could be interesting. F E flat F C. Mm -hmm. That might work. Let me play it with the different patch so we can hear what it sounds like on Lewis. Okay, so the harmony might work. The, har the little harmonic, uh, not harmonic, the, just the part that's up a sixth. I think that could sound good. We just need to find the right instrument. So when we do that, we add a new one. So here's what we do. For anybody who hasn't seen me do this yet, you go to a new track. We're just going to duplicate this, turn off our EQ, and open up Omnisphere. This is what Omnisphere looks like. There's a lot of sounds here. We have all selected in the top, you see that? And then we're gonna shuffle. And then what I do is I just go to the next sound. In this case, it's called Woodstock Rocks. It looks like it's a patch from Keyscape. It sounds sort of like a cross between an organ and a, I don't know, it's kind of abrasive. But I think it might work. Let's just turn it down. We'll call this rough organ. Okay, it's not bad. It'll work.
don't need that extra note at the end. Okay, so every time I play this melody, I hear something different. I hear something, you know, something to add. Now I'm hearing like, okay, we need some sort of counterpoint. We need we need something to fill the space when these notes are held out. So if we have like ba di ba di ba di bu da, we have four measures or four beats rather each time this phrase plays. So we just have nothing going on besides that held note. So I think it could be cool to do like a counter melody. So if we have like ba di, so I'm thinking rhythmically first, just so y'all know. Not worrying about the notes, I'm just getting these rhythms in my head. So if we have ba di bu di, I'm I'm hearing this ba di bu di da di ku bit m bit m bi ba du, you know that kind of a thing. Ba di bi ba bu di de m bi da ba. What's up, Nick? Ba di bi ba di m bi ba di ku di m bo. Bu du ba du ba um ba bu um ba. You know, so I'm getting the general shape now. It could be some kind of cool intervallic uh, kind of a line. Um. But uh, let's see, let's see, what can we do? What can we do? That's always the question. So if we have, let me turn my organ down, it's kind of loud. Hey, Corey. What should we use? Wet clav? No. I don't know what what clav is good for, really. I don't know why it's in here. Probably because it was one of those shuffles. Um, bass. Oh, yeah. Bass. Right now I sound like bass. Because it's early. It's early. I think we might need another instrument. Okay, let's do the drill. Let's shuffle the deck. New track. Hitting the shuffle. Hitting the shuffle. Here it comes. Oscar 2. Oh, how appropriate. Did anybody watch the Oscars last night? I did not. Yeah, Josh, we're live. We're live. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, okay, this is the, the point uh, where I usually ask for some recommendations as to which instrument to choose. So... Oscar 2 is not going to work just because it's got too much effect happening there. I mean, I press the note and we don't get anything coming out for like two seconds. So here are our options. We've got caverns of metal. These are the sounds that I, I can choose that are still going to be random. Um, but these these are what I see here in front of me. So what do people what do people think? Should we go for caverns of metal, sweeping lady sink, patch me and intelligent robot 2? Dancing Boy Factory, Rhodes 1946 Pre Piano Mono, Rainy Days, Impulsive Connections, Choir Woman's Oz, Atlantis, Lights in the Water, Halloween Sequence, Throat Singer Sinkorama, Bit Crushed Sign Hat 2, Classic Tenor Ah, and Oil Can Guitar Tremorisp. Tremorisp? I don't know. I don't know what any of these sounds sound like, just so you know. So you guys, uh, your guess is as good as mine. That's why I wanted to crowdsource this one. We got a rainy days. We got a vote for rainy days and a vote for pre-piano mono. Oil can guitar. Ugh. You guys are all over the place. Got to team up. Oil, oh, we got two for oil can guitar. All right, we're going to just choose that one because so, we got two votes for that. Two votes. All right, so maybe I think the volume's a little low. So if we turn it up. Okay, it's wild, but it could work. It could work. So we got to get that counter melody happening. So I'm going to get my bass note in first because that kind of defines the chord. Um, so where did we come from? So we're showing D flat to C. You 
one. Um, let's join these up. Oh, we have to go down the octave. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So this is where the this is where that D flat starts messing up. That D flat that I was talking about before. I think I put it in the vibes part. Um, we got people talking about delay in the comments. We're not doing production right now. I'm trying to resist the urge to get wrapped up in that. So we're just going to kind of live with it. And then we'll go back and we can mess with effects. Okay. So. Yeah. So we got to change this note. that up to make each one of these notes a little longer. Surprise counterline here. Okay, that's just supposed to be a little subtle something or other. So now we have the bass note in there. Now we can go to our counter melody, which is going to be with oil can. Oil can. Save. Oof. <laughs> okay, so So the first chord is That is so wild. First chord's like D flat major, and the second chord is A flat. Uh, hey Gustav, the next chord after that is like A flat over C. I'm trying to sing it first and then play it just you know to make sure my ears stay sort of sharp. So again the chord is D flat. We're going to go up the first time and then down the second time. And I'm just going to slow this down so I can play it right the first time because I got butterfingers this morning. All right, let's turn this down. Everybody remember 87. We're coming back to 87. <laughs> Back up. Okay, that's that's wild. That's wild. All right, so we're 
right, so I think we need to, I think we can keep it. We're gonna turn the oil can down, but I think we need to put this counter melody on something else too. Cause that instrument's just wild. Like I said, it's wild. So let's do the double. Do the double and do the shuffle. Come on, come on. Cross your fingers for something good. Tribute to Lyle. Ah, I think that's gonna be a Lyle Mays tribute, which which is a good sign, because this this section is, is very Lyle Mays. It's very um, Pat Metheny Lyle Mays. Then again, maybe it's not Lyle Mays at all. Maybe it's uh, Lyle Brewer. Ah, that'll work, that'll work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe even up the octave. Or even more than that. That might be too high. That sounds a little bit too video gamey. Yeah, that's fine. That blends. I think that's what I played. Let me just, again. Oh, you saw the baby. <laughs> Here we go. Can't even play it at 60. Ooh. is one interesting combination of instruments. But that's the whole point of this, right? That's how we're doing it, to find some new sounds. It's a little new agey. What it needs is the is the piano. It needs like just a, a regular old piano. Maybe we'll double it up with a wet clav. So the only thing that's missing now is the Sunday morning. If anybody remembers, Sunday morning is this sound down here, sort of our harmonic content in there. Beautiful synth sound with some side chain. Appreciate that, Corey. Um, so uh, let's do this. Let's get the chords in place. So the voice, I feel like I did this already. I must be still dreaming. Um, so the chords that we used previously, so that sounds like, um, I'm gonna put my octaves back to nor uh, normal. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So now we're gonna go to something like this. Alright, alright. Hello 
in France. Let's do, what am I doing, what am I doing? This is starting to sound like a video game. something wrong here. So we're coming from here to here. Oh, I know what it was. Because we're using that sharp 11 in that counter line. We might have to mess with that. Alright, so... I'm not gonna do all that passing stuff. Here we go. Let's lay it down. Sounds pretty good. Plugins, I think, are most important. EQ. Start with EQ. Here's what we're going to try. We're going to throw down some hats and some snare. And then I'm thinking we're going to do on the drums this like, this is getting the production world. So if I, uh, here's the rule. If I start doing producing, you know, you guys got to cut me off in like three minutes. Give me three minutes to mess with this um, filter that I'm going to uh, automate here. But first I have to record the part. So um, first we're going to record the hats. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. Okay, uh, I probably didn't need to slow it down that much. Whatever. Whatever. We're going. We're going forward. Um, I can't play saxophone right now. Everybody's sleeping. You know, I want all of these. Jeez. This is why I can't play drums on the keyboard. 
because the keys don't come up quickly enough. It's ridiculous. I could have just programmed this in automatic, you know, with the with the mouse, because I'm actually gonna just. I want all these to sound exactly the same. Exactly the same. So we're gonna quantize the heck out of it, and then, and then. Um, we're going to change the volume so that it's all the same. All the same. Okay, so let's move everything up, 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 and then down. I'm using Superior Drummer 3. Somebody was asking about uh, VSTs for the drums. Okay, um, now we have to do a little snare or something or other. So, with the accent on that. So, what is that? Oh, on the E. A one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. All right, so we're going to record that snare part. Even though this isn't technically possible to play on the drums, I'm going to add some floor time. That's the magic of production. Okay, so that was like a, um, yeah, it's like a samba kind of a thing. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like with everything else. Okay, and now we're going to do that little bit of producing I said we were going to try, um, and that's going to look like... First, let's join these up. I kind of play the drums, not very well. It's sort of true for most of the instruments I play. <laughs> um, kind of. That's it. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna take the top of this section here, and I'm gonna bring in my little single band EQ which I use generally for this automation type of stuff. There's probably an easier way to do it with like an auto filter, but this is fine. Okay, so we open this up. I should be able to do this pretty quickly. A single EQ, we're gonna control the frequency, and I'm just gonna select this four bar measure, four bar phrase rather, and we are gonna bring it down, way down. And then we're gonna delete that node right there so we have this gradual uh, opening of the filter. Hear that? Yeah. And then what we will probably also do 
again, getting into that production side of things, is throw in like a that kind of a thing, which I probably have readily available through Splice. Um, I know the curve could be more round, but that is getting into production, and I'm trying not to do that. Where's my, where's my thing? No. No, 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 no. Maybe I'll do it for you, Seth. There we go. Maybe I'll do it just for you. Um, I try to do the melodies first. I really do. If you can get a good melody, then the... Um, There we go, that was for you, Seth. And I'll do that for everyone. Whoa. <laughs> Clean down sweep. Chill. You gotta chill. Let's just turn it down, way down. And we gotta throw out, you know what we're gonna throw on here, right? We're gonna throw in the pumper. Very effective plugin, one knob. From waves. <laughs> Still too loud though. There's so much gain. Oh boy, I feel it coming on. I feel the producing coming on. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay, and then that's it. I'm doing some Mondo mod. Then we're getting the heck out of here. Okay, back to work. Okay, what's happening next? That's the big question. Well, this drum group kind of fits. So, to uh, go back to what I was saying before about melody versus harmony, I'm going to go for some melody in this next section. I'm going to let the melody dictate what happens next, which is a generally good rule of thumb. The question is, what is the melody going to be? So we have... Now we have this. I, I forgot my melody. Yeah. Oof, I'm too tired. Um, Want to be flat major, maybe? Mm, that could be cheesy and, and kind of fun. 
Okay, I've got an idea here. I think we're, we might try going to B flat and then to like a D7, maybe. I know, that's what I was saying, Calculus 77. The whole t the, the name of that patch that came up in Omnisphere was Lyle. Tribute to Lyle Mace. Okay, so we're gonna go for this B flat major thing. Only gotta put it up the octave. Oh, that's my counterpoint line. I meant to record that with Lewis, but Lyle came up instead. But it's not bad, it's okay, it's okay. All right, wait, hang with me guys, hang with me. You'll see where this is going. Let's record the same thing on Lewis. like that fretless sound. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's get our chords in here so you can hear what I'm what I'm talking about. Let's get the the bass. Should we go down the octave? That might be a little too growly. Plus when we go to when we go from one to three, I I really like going down to the three. I think that's kind of got that epic epic thing happening. Okay. So by the way, if anybody's learning anything or if you like what you hear, feel free to uh, super chat me, which is that little dollar sign in the bottom of the chat, or you can do a little tip action at that link somewhere in the screen. I think the link is there. Um, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. What was I just going to do? Oh, yeah, the bass part. Sunday morning chords in there and you'll really hear what's happening. I'm not sure everybody knows what's going on here, but just wait. Just wait for it. So the chord that we had previously, the voicing I should say. By the way, if anybody wants to get better with their voicings, Sit Chords Volume 1 is necessary. It's a collection of tons and tons of voicings. Hundreds voicings for these types of chords so if you if you if you want to get your chords to sound better check out that it's it's available on my website and in one of the cards i think let me know if you have any questions um so this chord right here that kind of reminds me of um this james blake tune it's like diga do bom I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, let's. I'm getting distracted. We got to. We got to stay on topic here. Gotta find the right voicing. So we're doing B flat major seven. 
Abu Ba Where are we coming from again, this thing? Maybe we just do that. getting where this is going now let's hear the whole section we got to keep an eye on the forest last night we were talking about the forest and the trees and if you get so focused in on the little things like the trees you know these little four bar sections then you might lose sight of the bigger picture so let's make sure this all still sounds like it makes sense <laughs> Sounds okay. What do you guys what do you guys think? We're gonna drag this all the way to twenty one. This is gonna be one big build. Gotta set up. Ugh. All right, before I do any of these parts, I got to continue all this stuff, right? Um, and you know, maybe a counter melody. I am going to finish out the, the melody here. So we have two more bars we have to write. This is good, we've made it uh, to 21, 21 measures. So let's um, let's see, what are we gonna do? ba boo boo be let's go to Lewis. Thank you, Lewis Cole. De -do -do -de -boo. Now, I don't want to go somewhere too expected. I'm thinking a modulation. There's a lot of opportunity here. A lot of opportunity. I want to make it count. I want to make it count. I don't know. This is the point where I feel like I'm trying to put together the puzzle. And there's a piece here. There's a puzzle piece that's perfect. It's the right piece, and I got to find it. It's almost like the thing is already written. I just got to find it. That's, you know, that's what I feel my job is, as esoteric as that sounds. So I'm going to have to search for it a little bit. sounds like me sort of like that sound C major 7 over E
Mhm. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But what's the next part? So... Okay, that's what we're going to do. Let's lay it down before I forget. I want it to hit like that. That could be interesting. No, definitely not. Sorry, I just went musical there. Um, all right, we're back. I'm going to start talking a little bit more. I'll tell you what I'm thinking here. Oh, okay. So I want to do this line. But I don't want to make it so expected. I was talking about the expectation surprise balance yesterday. Really important to me. So I feel like that line... Is nice. It's got a nice amount of expectation, probably too much. So I'm going to start to mess with it a little bit. I'm going to add some surprise factor with rhythm. So instead of going ba di ba da bubble, I'm going to do ba di ba do bum 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 ba di di do bum bum. So it's it's totally wacky rhythmically, but. Oops, wrong notes. So I have to change this to a shorter note there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's add the uh, the chords. What are the chords? Um, we're going with the bass first. E to, e to A. Forgot to play. I was reading the comments. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get our chords in there Sunday morning. So we left off with, we left off with this. Uh, what voicing are we gonna use after that? So it came from here. And then 
for the next chord. That could be nice. Try that. Sounds like the same thing. What happened there? Let's get the the fretless. I'm gonna change this to fretless so I don't get it confused with my other bass. Um, I don't mind being off the grid, but these guys are just a little late. See, these ones are here. Yeah, that's where it's supposed to be. So they're now they're early. Oh, everyone's starting to wake up. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. So what I think I want to do, again, just taking a very quick second to think about production, is I'm going to increase the pump on this section. 
So we're going to start at, we're at 3.1. We're going to bump it up. I'm going to bump it up to that. So we're going to bump that up. And we're also going to automate this thing. We're going to start to open up this filter, the uh, low pass filter. So I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, 2150. And then I might just edit it after the fact. Um, bring one of these up here just to get smooth. Um, I'm going to curve this just for Seth. Okay, let's hear what that sounds like. So I have to continue to play the melody with Lyle here. to go soon just to give everybody a heads up yeah let's listen to the whole thing let's listen to the whole thing Everybody, we're gonna leave it there for now. Hopefully, this was helpful or enjoyable in some way. If you liked what you heard, or if you learned something, feel free to send a tip. Super chat, super chats down here in the little dollar sign, and then there's also that link. Feel free to use that. I appreciate it. Thank you in advance. This is coming together. Let's see. We've got 21 measures. Um, but you know what? That equals about a minute of music, which isn't too shabby. Um, the A section is in G minor. And I think what's going to be kind of cool is to come back from 
this sort of more harmonic chordy thing you know very sort of atmospheric and then return back to our original a section i think that's good to be a nice combo so any questions before we go any questions i can take some questions uh yes so the a section is oh you, did, you didn't ask if it was a minor you said is the a section minor yes it's minor it's g minor um with a major on top Anybody else have any questions? Where's the 808s with some hard distortion? Get it slapping you out your seat. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be bumping up the bass, the kick drum in that section when we get to mix this thing. Hello, Cornelius from Malaysia. Thank you for watching. I know this was a little early for some of you, um, but you know this is an international crowd as as. Uh, Cornelius can attest. So um, I thought that, uh, will I keep doing these live streams? I don't know. Should I keep doing the live streams? We'll see if people actually watch them. I, I, I mean, I think it's fun. If other people think it's fun and in interesting and enjoyable, then, uh, then yeah, I mean, it's, this is the kind of stuff that I mess around with anyway. So it doesn't really hurt me to just live stream it. Why not? Yeah, I know the drums are important, Larry. Thank you very much. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, one more once, Josh. I hear you. Steven asks, are the stabby chords being played on all the offbeats? Except for the first one. Ba 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 I love Jacob. Boo ba 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 boo ba. Okay, okay, okay. Keep doing the live streams. Okay, I will keep doing the live streams. Um, like I said, I do the I do this kind of stuff anyway especially when I have free time in the mornings like this. Uh, so I'm happy to have you all join. I think it is, um, man, Larry Tough Love is really, he's pushing hard. Now everybody has your email address, Larry. I hope that's okay. Um, people, don't spam Larry. Um, <laughs> any other questions or comments before we go? I'm going to wrap this up in two minutes. Anybody else up early like me? Or is, uh, oh man, there goes the alarm. All right, guys, I gotta go. Thank you all for watching. I gotta go turn off the alarm. <laughs>